Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing, actually, this is my favorite video to film ever. I feel like I try to get these videos up on my channel as often as possible because if it were up to me, every single video on my channel would literally be a favorites video. They're also my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. I've talked about that for years. I will watch anyone talk about their favorite things. So for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite current things from like every region when it comes to comfort, fashion, snacks, beauty, everything across the board. I just wanna sit down and talk to you about my favorite things I've been loving recently that I'm sure you guys would love as well. I don't even know where to start because I have so many products, so I'm gonna dive in, but today is my birthday. I am 31 years old today, so happy birthday to me, a true cancer. <laughs> Actually, technically, I'm a Cancer Leo. Like, I'm on the cusp, which makes sense as to why I'm like here on camera, like, oh my God, look at me. Like, that's the Leo inside of me, right? But then I turn off the camera and I'm like, oh, hold me, let me cry. You know, that's the Cancer in me. It is my birthday today. Perfect time to upload a video. I also launched some glosses today, which I'm sure you guys have seen on social media for a birthday surprise through Jaclyn Cosmetics. I'm super, super excited. Three really beautiful shimmery glitter glosses, just gorgeous over top of any lip or by itself. Beautiful for summer. And I want that to be a thing for my brand. Like, that's my vision is every single birthday, I wanna drop just like a little surprise for you guys. Just like, here you go, you know? I think that'd be really cute and really fun. It's like a fun way to celebrate. And that's it. Okay, let me start talking about the things that I have been loving. Let's start with the obvious, the first thing in the video, because as you guys know, I don't ever wear eyeshadow like this. I stepped outside of my box because of Michaela's collaboration that she did with Glamlight. You guys, I am so in love with this palette. When I saw online, I was like, oh wow, this is like the first palette that I've seen in a really long time. Other than Manny's, um, Lunar Beauty's new Life's a Drag palette, that one really kind of caught my eye too. But this is the first time I've seen a palette in a long time where I genuinely was like, oh, I wanna play with eyeshadow, I wanna play with makeup. Like this is just so much fun and so different. I literally just played with the blues in this palette and I was shook. When I got this in the mail, by the way, thank you so much Michaela and Glamlight for sending this to me, oh my gosh. When I got this in the mail and I swatched it, I was like, you've gotta be kidding me. The pigment is so on point, which is not easy to do in pressed eyeshadows. But like the shade that I use today, like look at this, like look at this pigment. Let me like just show you guys. Like, can you see? It was such an effortless dream to blend out and just so packed with pigment and such little fallout. I'm definitely now, because of Michaela, a fan of Glam Light. This is such an amazing collaboration. <laughs> now I have blue all over me and I have nowhere to wipe it. No one will know. Since we're on the topic of beauty and I talked about my glosses that are launching today, I also just wanna show you guys the actual glosses right here. They're in the shades Fearless, Audacious, and Ambitious. When I actually named these products, I asked my family and friends to like think of one word that described me. <laughs> you know, I'm just that bitch. And those were the words, those were the words that they came up with. So Fearless, Audacious, and Ambitious. We have like a super beautiful clear vanilla. We have a really gorgeous like gold bronze, and then we have a beautiful champagne. I am wearing the clear one right now in the shade Fearless on my lips, over top of my liquid lip in the shade Be Brave. It just gives you such like a juicy, shimmery, if you will. Okay, so next I have a body lotion. I have talked about this lotion before. I don't know if I've ever talked about it on YouTube actually, but I know I've talked about it on like my Insta stories. It's so funny because my employees, Sarah and Megan, when I told them that I was gonna talk about this in today's video, they were like, no! They're like, we have to go buy it. Don't talk about it. We don't want to sell out because it sells out really fast and really, really easily because anyone who knows about this lotion knows that you're not gonna find a better one. This is just the end all, be all body lotion. It is by the brand Kiehl's and I'm not really like a skin care lover of Kiehl's. I've tried so many of their products and I'm not really like too horny for it, but they have like a really thick salve for your feet that I'm obsessed with. And then this right here, this is their Creme de Corps. Such an interesting name. It's a soy milk and honey whipped body butter. It just looks like this. <sighs> Smells so good, so yummy. Not too rich, not like, oh my gosh. Like it's not like perfumey, like fragrant. It's just so yummy and fresh and soft smelling, but you guys, this is the only lotion that is gonna keep you hydrated for 24 hours, like period. When I apply this at night, I'm just like, I'm still perfectly glistening, I'm still perfectly moisturized, I'm still glowing. It is just, the that's it, period. It is the best body lotion you'll ever use. Okay, so since we're talking about lotions, let's talk about body washes. Oh my God. I have a ton of body washes I've been loving so, so, so much, but I feel like they're really expensive and I didn't wanna talk about them in this video because I'm like, that's not really relatable, if you will, you know? So I wanna talk about this from Bath and Body Works. I was recently introduced to these, what are they called? 
moisturizing body wash. It's almost like a shower cream, but they smell so freaking good, oh my God. So it's the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Natural Essential Oils line. I have it in every single set that it comes in and it is just, the best, the actual like liquid that comes out, it's white. It looks like a lotion and it is so creamy on your body, but it's not overly creamy where you get out and you feel waxy. That's what I love about it is there's so many products similar to this that when I get out, I'm like, ugh, that left like residue on me. It's not like that. It's just so moisturizing and the fragrance is so strong. And since it's made with natural essential oils, you just feel like good about yourself while you're using it. You know, you're like, mm -hmm. this one is the newest one that I just purchased. It's in chamomile and bergamot. And then underneath of it, it says sleep because they have like different ones like awaken and like all different ones. This is one of them that I use in the evening just because it's, you know, sleep. So I'm like, eh, it's gonna put me to bed. Bitch, it don't put me to bed, but it smells so good. You get in bed, you just smell so amazing, like chamomile and lavender, you're like, mm. there's something about it, I'm telling you. It lasts on your skin for a really long time and it's so soft and moisturizing. Okay, so sticking with beauty stuff. I don't even know the name of this brush. Abiza, I think that's what it is. It's kind of like worn off on my handle, but Abiza hair. So Jesus, which he's known by Hair by Jesus on Instagram, I have been working with him for so many years and I trust every thing that he tells me. And one time when we were on set, he told me that these are his favorite brushes to use. He was using it on my hair for a blowout. And I was like, holy crap, like my blowout is amazing. So jumped online and bought this. I bought it in like a smaller size and then this size, I'll be honest, for my hair and my length and my layers, this is my favorite one. I never use a small one. It is so amazing. And now I've got my Tampa hairdresser like all over this as well. When she was at my house one time doing my hair, I gave this to her. I'm like, here, you can use this. And she was like, what the hell am I using? This is incredible. It's not cheap. I'll link it down below. I'll link everything down below for you, obviously. But it is worth every penny. I've had it for like probably six, seven months at this point, And I use it every Every day. Like I just take my bangs like this, grab a blow dryer and hold it like that. And then I just go like this, curl it forward like that, and then just let it drop. And then when I do that with heat, that's what gives my bangs, God, I got hair in my mouth. That's what gives my bangs like that, like really like curtain looking moment, which I should have done before this video because obviously I did not give one single shit about how my hair looked clearly. Moving on. Oh my God, you guys. This straightener, it's not just a straightener. It is a game changer. This is the end all be all to straighteners. I will never need another straightener for the rest of my life. Oh my gosh, it is so expensive and it is so, so, so worth it. Now I've only had this since December. Yeah, Karen known as I Love Sarai here on socials and GHD sent this to me as a present back in December. And oh my gosh, you guys plug this in, push this button to turn on. I'm not kidding. It is fully heated. Like it like dings to tell you, it goes like ring. Like it makes like a pretty little uh, like whistle when it's like ready to go. And I'm not kidding, it takes maybe 10 seconds, like maybe 10 seconds, probably even less. Like I plug it in and it's just like, boom, like it's it, it's hot and it's horny, it's ready for you. It is amazing. It makes your hair so smooth, but it doesn't take away volume, which is always an issue for me because my hair is just so naturally fine that I like straighten my hair and my hair is just like, like stick straight and like so stuck to my face. This one allows you to keep like a lot of bounce in your hair, but it smooths it so beautifully. It is the best straightener I've ever used in my entire life. I literally don't ever care to find another one. I hope this lasts me forever and it should for the price. So let's talk about food. <laughs> my favorite subject, yes. First and foremost, <laughs> not kidding. Taco Bell mild sauce. You guys, I've loved Taco Bell mild sauce my entire life. Like as a teenager, Taco Bell was just like all we did. Like we lived and breathed at Taco Bell. I would ask for so many packets of mild sauce and I would like keep them at my house because I would love them so much. And I would literally, okay, hold on. I have a story for you. Rewind, okay? I don't know if I've told you this story before, but when Jorah and I had only been dating for like a couple of weeks, we went to Taco Bell one night, like really late and we ordered and we sat in the parking lot and we were eating in the car and I was so hungry. I wasn't even thinking about the fact that I was like with this new man that I'm like supposed to, you know, be like, I'm Kira. And I'm like, don't you like adore me? No, I was just like, <laughs> like eating my tacos. And I took the mild sauce and I like drizzled it on the taco and then I took the pack, disgusting. And it's like, <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> I looked over and Jordan was just staring at me. He's just sitting there like, and I was like, oh my God, I like a mouthful of food. I was like, sorry. And he was like, no, it's great. And it's so funny because he told his mom that like, that was the moment that he was like, God, I love this woman. Now I have like a relationship with Taco Bell mild sauce. Anyways, I did not know that you could buy it in bottles. I know it's crazy. I'm sure everyone knew this except me. Personally, they've been sold out in all my local grocery stores for so long. So now I just buy them like as a pack of three on Amazon. And I put this on everything. Like recently, really kind of honing in on an anti-inflammatory diet, even though I've cheated so much 
past couple of weeks, you guys, it's so frustrating, but it's just been so much travel and so many events and just so much going on that it's so difficult. And I'm like, screw it, give me the cheeseburger. You know, we're on the go. Putting that aside, I will literally put this on anything. Like we'll make just like basmati rice and ground turkey. And this is like the only thing that I put on it. And I just like mix it together and it's so good. And it's not even hot. I'm talking a lot about this. I'm very passionate, but it's not even spicy. It's just the flavor. It's not about the heat, it's about the flavor. It's so God! Sticking with Snackies. I talked about this brand on my Insta story because I like had a total excited breakdown when I discovered this brand. I don't know if you can get them in stores. I'm sure you can. I just ordered mine on Amazon. It's by the brand Made Good right here. And it says on like everything, like it's safe for schools, free for nuts, organic. Nutrients are all from vegetables. And if you look at the ingredients on the back, you can actually understand what the ingredients are, which is wonderful. There's none that you're like, huh? Like brown rice, cane sugar. So it's like, if you want to get like crazy, you're not gonna eat this. Like if you're on a really, really, really strict diet, you might not be able to have, you know, the sugar, even though it's cane sugar, you might not be able to have the brown rice, whatever. But when it comes to wanting a sweet, this is probably the best thing that you could possibly eat in my opinion, other than fruit. But if you're like, God, I want a brownie or I want a Rice Krispie treat, this brand is bomb. They have so many different things. Like these are chocolate chip granola minis. They have so many different flavors, strawberry, mixed berry, and they're so stinking good. If you close your eyes, you would think that you're eating something that is processed and full of artificial flavors. It is just tastes incredible. This one right here, ooh, Lord. So stinking good. This is the vanilla crispy square. You guys, this is a Rice Krispie treat. Like you can't tell me. You could give this to your child and they will 100% think that they're eating a Rice Krispie treat. It is so crispy. It's got like that yummy chewiness like a Rice Krispie treat. The ingredients are so much better than Rice Krispie treat. I, just, I can't get over it. It is so dang good. So this is my guilty pleasure snack recently. You know what I mean? I talked about these on my Insta story as well. I have to talk about them here. I know so many people are talking about this. These are not sponsored at all, but this is the Magic Spoon cereal. It is very pricey for a cereal, but the reason why is because it's zero grams of sugar, four net carbs, and 13 grams of protein. It's a grain-free cereal and it's naturally flavored. So you really are not gonna be able to get a better cereal. If you are a cereal lover, this is the way to go. And it's so filling. I will just eat this with unsweetened oat milk and it's so yummy. My two favorite flavors right now are fruity and frosted. They are so, so yummy. And I will say, if you really focus, you can kind of taste the protein. Hold on. I gotta do a taste test, you know? Mmm. Mm. It tastes identical to Fruity Pebbles, identical. As you're chewing it, it just tastes like Fruity Pebbles. As it kind of subsides, you can kind of taste the protein. Nothing aggressive though, not like damn protein, but you can kind of taste it. It is so good. If I had kids, this is what I would be giving them, right here, magic spoon. Okay, so last thing I wanna talk about that comes to the kitchen, as far as like food and beverages, are these two sparkling waters right here. Extremely similar, they just have different flavors. This right here is the brand Bubbly. This right here is the brand Aha. Zero sugar, zero, zero, zero all around the board. Just yummy tasting water. They're so good. Like I was really obsessed with Waterloo for quite a while. Now that has left the building because these are just so much better in my opinion. They're so damn good. My two favorites, from Bubbly, the lime is so good. They also have a black cherry one that is amazing. They have so many different flavors though. That's what I love. And from Aha, girl, the lime watermelon. It's my favorite sparkling water ever, the lime watermelon. It is so damn good. So if you're just looking for a yummy drink, no caffeine, no sugar, nothing naturally flavored, I would check these out. I feel like I'm so sponsored. I'm like, no this, no that, naturally flavored. Like I should be getting paid to do these things. Hit me up, Bubbly. God, let's talk about clothing. Good American jeans. First of all, I am so happy for Khloe Kardashian and the fact that she has such an incredible brand. I mean, honestly, let's talk about how hard those girls work to make something happen. Like I have been watching the Kardashians since I was 19 years old. They've had everything from fragrances to clothing lines, cosmetic lines, self tanners. Like they have tried to make everything work. And now I feel like all of them have their thing. Kylie's got her cosmetic line. Courtney's got poosh. Kim's got everything. A thriving app, a thriving cosmetic brand. Skims, incredible. chloe has got Good American. Kendall's a supermodel. Like they're looking their best. I'm very happy for them. Um, but Good American jeans are hands down my favorite jeans right now. They just are so comfortable on the body. They are genuinely made for women with real bodies. And that is something so hard to come by. Something that I did not understand in the past. And then I put on all that weight. I should say all this weight. <laughs> it's still there, bitch. And I'm like, oh, I get it. It's really hard to find jeans that don't gap in the back. You know, like when you have hips and an ass and you always have that gap, it's so hard to find. Her ankles 
ankles are great. Like her ankles aren't like super wide ankles where you're like, oh my gosh, I look so stupid. Like my ankles are too wide. Her jeans just fit so amazing. My favorite is the good leg. That's what these are called. And I just love her wash. I have this exact same pair in a few different colors. Super dark blue, a black. The rips are like in the perfect spot. They're soft. They're like the softest jean. Just so, so good, you guys. I'm really into good American. Even her clothing outside of denim is so bomb. <sighs> these t-shirts. Okay, it's so funny because anytime I wear these t-shirts on my Insta story, I find it crazy how many people DM me asking me, what t-shirt is that? It looks so comfortable. I'm like, it's just a t-shirt, but it is amazing. And it's by Skims. I have this in basically every single color that she sells it in. Um, like I have it right here in a cream. It also comes in long sleeve. It's just like, I think it's called her boyfriend t-shirts maybe. I don't know. I will find it. I will link it for you. But you guys, like the stretchiness of the shirt, and the softness, like I've owned these for a while and they've been washed many times and they're not pilling. They're still so soft. It almost feels like they're like moisturizing. They're so soft. They're the best t-shirt in the world. I want her to come up with V-necks in this so bad. Please, Kim, hear me out. I need a V-neck in this style, please. Cause it is so good. But sometimes mama wants to show off the tatays. <laughs> Speaking of tatays, oh, how convenient. These are my favorite bras ever, okay? And it's not like a bra bra, okay? It's not like gonna give you push up or anything like that. It's literally just here to support you. It's by the brand True. Oh, this is inside out. I wear a medium just so you guys know. I am a 34 double D. I wear a medium just for size reference. It is just so comfortable. Like it just holds you up. It supports you. And something that, again, I'm like back to my weight gain. Something that I never understood is when I weighed 30 pounds less, I never had to deal with this. But now that I've gained weight, my boobs have gotten bigger. And now if I wear t-shirts and I wear like a regular bra, it just hangs off of me and I look like a tent. Like from side view, I look so much bigger than I am. And I almost feel like I have to like walk around like holding my hand like this, keeping my shirt from hanging off. So these right here, I love it because they have just enough padding in it where it's like you're supported and you feel comfortable, but it's not gonna give you any extra. Ugh. It's just, it's good. It's good for bigger boobs. That's all I'm saying. I have so many styles. They make a racer back that's so amazing. Um, all different colors. They have some with like lace all over them. I love them all. I have never met a true bra that I don't like. I think that they are the best bra I've ever used to be honest, but that's like push up aside. You know, these are just for like comfort every day. It's what I wear nonstop. <sighs> Let's get into this, you guys. All I'm gonna say is Abercrombie. You guys see these everywhere, I'm sure. Everyone is wearing Abercrombie recently. Everybody is so obsessed. I got reintroduced to Abercrombie probably in the very beginning of this year, maybe? I was like, Abercrombie, what? Like, when I think of Abercrombie, I think of like, black girls who wear Abercrombie, bitch, you know? Denim cut off shorts, polos, like those were the days, right? Like 15 years ago, they've genuinely gotten with the times. They have made a comeback so strong. Their stuff is so high quality and so comfortable. I feel like people have to be sick of seeing me wearing these because they're like the most comfortable crew neck pullovers that I own. Other than the ones that I honestly make for myself and my launches for my team. They are so soft, so comfortable, and they wash like a dream. They have not shrunk on me. They have not peeled up on me. The inside is still soft and cozy as can be. They have so many different styles that are so, 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 so cute. Just trust me, go to the Abercrombie website or go to the store, check it out. Even when it comes to their dresses, their jackets, their tops, their tees, they have my favorite V-neck ever right now. I was gonna show it to you on camera, but it's actually in the washing machine, but their V-neck is incredible. I bought it in every color because I'm like, finally a V-neck that looks good. Get on it, trust me. Okay, last clothing item. Every time I wear these, everybody on social media, friends and family are like, where the hell did you get these from? Once again, it's Skims. You guys, these are the most comfortable pajamas I've ever worn in my entire life. They're just the perfect amount of thickness where it makes you feel cozy, but it doesn't make you hot. You know what I'm saying? It's nice and loose. I get mine in a size large. I always get my pajamas in a size large because I want them to be oversized on me. I do not want a tight pajama. I want to be kind of swimming in my pajamas, but I could very easily do a medium in this, but I like it big. But I have this in both gray and black and it is just so cozy. And then of course the matching pants and her pants do come really long in this specific set. So I always take it and fold it like this and just wear it like, this or I fold it like twice because they they are very, very long. I'm like, was Kendall Jenner like the girl that you sized when you made these? Because they long. I actually wanna get a couple more pairs because I have two and sometimes they're both in the dirty wash and I'm like, hmm, I want my pajamas. This is what makes me wanna come home and get in pajamas, those. Okay, speaking of coming home and getting cozy. Oh, bitch. 
I discovered my favorite blanket that I've ever had in my entire life, you guys. I know I keep saying this about everything, but everybody who comes into my house and touches this blanket is like, what the hell am I using right now? And I'm like, get it back. Because it is so good, everyone wants it. I seriously feel like a sales rep for this blanket because everyone who's coming to my house has bought it. Everyone, I actually just bought it for one of my best friend's birthdays because I'm like, she'll absolutely love this. It's by the brand UGG. I believe it's only on the UGG website. I will find it for you guys down below. I'll try to find it for the, like for you, the most convenient place and link it for you. It's so huge, comfortably fits two people under here. It has been in my house now for since January, maybe December. I've washed it so many times. It is the softest thing in the world. Cause you know how some like Barefoot Dreams blankets, they stay so good for just like a couple of washes and then they just don't, they don't have the same softness. They don't have that freshness anymore. This just stays, it doesn't shed. Like it doesn't get like little like hairs and fuzzies everywhere. It's the perfect blanket. It's so cozy. So I will find it for you. Trust me, you will not regret that. Okay, only two more items left. First one is, I mean, just my pillow in general. <laughs> I'm not actually talking about my pillow, but the pillowcase. This is a silk pillowcase. I'm sure that you can just find silk pillowcases on Amazon or something. This one personally is from the brand Slip. Oh my God. This has changed my sleep, you guys. It is so comfortable and it stays cool all night long. Like you turn over and like you go from one spot to the next and it's just cool. And you're just like, oh, it's so fresh and it's so soft. And sleeping with a silk pillowcase is so, 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 so good for your skin, anti-aging, wrinkles, all that and it is just the softest thing in the entire world. Like I can't believe I lived like 30 years of my life without a silk pillowcase. Now I will never ever not want one. I went out of town two times this month and both times when I was in the hotel, I was like, I should have brought my pillow, I should have brought my pillowcase. Like it's just not the same. Silk pillowcases just hit different. Last but not least, I have talked about one of these before, but not the specific one. The wrap towel for when you get out of the shower. If you don't have one of these, girl, I don't know what you're doing because for me personally, when I get out of the shower, I do shit. Like I get out, I put on my towel and now I'm like, I'm moisturizing. I'm like, I'm walking a dog. <laughs> I'm doing something. Like I'm I'm doing my skincare, I'm doing my hair and my towel, I have to constantly readjust it and be like, oh my gosh, and it just falls off. Obviously this one does not, it is Velcro, it just, stays around your body like this. You just go ahead, put it around, strap it on, and then you're just good to go, you're hands free. It makes you never want to get out of a towel. Like if you're that person that takes a shower and then like sits on your bed and just like doesn't wanna get dressed, this will really enable you. Don't get it because you'll never get dressed. You'll just stay in your towel. This one is by Skims. Once again, they do sell them on Amazon. I talked about them in my Amazon favorites because I hadn't discovered the Skims one yet. I don't think they had actually come out yet, but you guys, this one is so good because it does not come off. The Velcro does not weaken as you wash it. It just stays so secure and it's like stretchy back here. So it's just so, so, so comfortable on your body. It just literally feels like you're wearing absolutely nothing. It's amazing. Okay, so that was it for my current favorite must-haves. I could have pulled so much more for you guys. I was like, ooh, let me pull candles and fragrance. But I was like, uh, is that necessary? I don't think so. And I also feel like talking about those things can kind of suck because you can't smell it through the camera. So you're just like, okay, great. Like, I don't know if it's good. Anyways, that's it. Those are my current must-haves favorites that I have been eating and cozying up with and wearing constantly. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And please, I mean this as always, leave a comment down below. Let me know your current things, no matter what it is, whatever pops into your mind. If it's a certain pretzel, tell me, whatever it is. If it's a blanket, if it's a sock, if it's a sandal. I wanna know your current favorites, your must haves. I will be scrolling through the comments 100%, liking your comments, responding, and also more than anything, writing your recommendations down, taking screenshots, because I just, I, I want the best of the best. I want the creme de la creme, creme de la creme. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. What do we have next? I'm talking at the speed of light. I need to calm down. <laughs> okay. Mm. You know what? We're done.